Jared from Ohio Gamers, and I am here to play Fallout Shelter. Now, this game was just announced by Bethesda on the E3 conference. Uh, it was going to come out tonight, uh, sure. So I'm just giving you guys a first look here. I uh, don't really know what to expect, unless you watch the E3 conference. We got a little bit of gameplay here, but let's kind of see what happens when you start it all off. Ooh, you can have a couple save files. Because once you select an ID, it can't be changed. Okay. So, I need to pick a number here. Um, hmm. For sake of time, how about we just do... We'll just do random. There it is. Create Vault 996. So I guess from Saints and Overseer of all nine six. Now this looked like kinda like you manage people almost a little like Sims or if you've ever played Tiny Tower, I believe it's called. It kinda looked like that. But a little bit different. Instead of Tiny Tower where you build uh levels and you go up, this looks like you go out and build many rooms and a uh, very interesting twist. Did not expect this from the E three conference, so extremely excited to try it out. Hopefully there's no glitches and anything like that. Taking quite a while to load here. Oh, here we go. Okay, helpful hint. Welcome to your new vault overseer. Let's introduce you to basic concepts. First, let's build a room. Tap the ammo icon. Okay. We'll build a power generator that will produce power. Tap on the power room. Boom. Okay, so let's build it. It looks like you pick your slot, so I'll pick there where they asked me to. And then now we need dwellers to make the power generator produce power. So look for new dollars. So click special stats, that's info. Okay. To assign a dollar tap and hold the dollar and try to drag them to the room. So okay. So he wants to go here. Boom. Let's see. Can we zoom in? And I think they're both going in there. Okay. They got their vault suits on now, too. It's kind of cool. And there she goes. Alright. This looks like we got to get this started here. Okay, now that dwellers are working, the room will start producing resources. Double tap the room to take a closer look. Okay. If you are in dire need of extra resources, you can use the rush mode. Tap and rush mode. Okay, so it looks like, let's say we rush, which I don't really. Okay. I don't even know what currency I just used for that, but okay. We got some great. Okay, so that's caps that you click. C stands for caps. Kind of makes sense, I guess. Well, they want me to build a diner. Build. So they want me to put it there. Okay. They want me to build a water treatment plant. Which, hang on, let's see. Oh, well, I guess I can't put it there. I'm sure you can move all this later. Here's some food and water to start your vault. Look at the meters to keep track of your resources and needs. Okay, so my meters up there, so they're full. Look, more dollars have shown up to the vault door. Now that you have known the basic rules over here, roll, keep exploring your vault, keep remembering your dollars. Good luck. Okay, they're kind of just throwing you into it after all that, so let's see here. You click on them. Special. Okay. Okay, so you can just kind of Let's, I guess we'll just take him, we'll throw him in, we'll take her, alright, let's just, come on, kind of hard to grab these dudes, let's just drag them in, well, let's see what happens, A, P, so you can kind of, so we'll just throw them in there, and we'll see, we'll throw you, Kind of just now, if you watch the E3 conference like I did, you'll notice that 
or you would have seen that male and female dwellers within the same quarters have a chance of giving them babies. Why would you hear that? So they, these people are in there, so I sent that guy in there, so let's send her. Let's see what happens when you send her in there. But if you watch the E3 conference, you know, the, the, the thing they showed had a lot of rooms. Oh my gosh, like at least 50. So maybe those two will have babies. I'm not sure how that really works, but... Tap and hold. Okay. So let's just drag someone to each room. Let's put her here. Assign two dwellers to the right room. Okay, so obviously I'm not assigning them to the right room, but that's okay. I'm sure I'm just... Maybe you can reassign them. So, ooh, okay. Looks like I got, oh, okay. 25 caps there, it seems like, for completing a quest. Complete objectives. Interesting. So as you guys can see, this, let's see what this is, actually. So, okay, that's where you can buy stuff. Oh, I have zero lunch boxes. They talk about that. You gain lunch boxes, then you unlock random, random loot there. Here are objectives, so collect 50 water, send one dweller to the race land, daily report. Okay, so they kind of maybe tell you how you're doing. This little thing here, you see all the, see and manage all the weapons and outfits, which I don't have any yet. Let's see here, more weapons out, okay. And these are obviously just settings. Alright, upgrade your production rooms to produce more resources to have the arrow. So it's kind of, let's see, if I click on this, so you can click here, okay, and things, see now there's timers to each one, each room, okay, so see this has a minute 20 left, and then I get 8 water, but then this right here gives me energy, and then food, okay, so let's see if there's anything else I can build, an elevator, a living quarters for charisma, oh, okay, see that's where you get it, the special charisma strength, agility, perception, have twelve dollars in your vault okay so maybe I'll build another strength one can I do that yeah I'll build it right there okay no one's in there so maybe I'll make him stronger let's see drag him over to the strength now so now he's running over there. Okay, now let me build an elevator too. Let me see how that works. Build? Oh. So you can build down or over. I might build down here. Okay, so now I'm really low on caps. But guys, I was just showing you the first little bit of this. Oh, here we go. I already got a new person that wants to come in. Looks like her special is... Nothing, nothing really stands out there can hold more dwellers so they can produce more resources. So we probably need to send her since I took everyone out of this room. Oh here, oh no, that's just got Okay, so I have to build more living quarters now. Which I don't have any caps. Interesting. Ooh. Okay, so I can't take any more dwellers in. So well I was just showing you guys first look here um at the, the fallout shelter video or fallout shelter game it looks like you can really create look at that deep 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 you destroy rocks oh my lord this game looks like it can get pretty big so uh thanks for watching guys hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully it helps you um oh also one last thing here's where you can see your dwellers see how happy they are so um yeah thanks for watching and if you guys play let us know how you do thanks bye